What is the one thing that is a constant companion for most of the people who work on computers? It's the most essential of all the accessories, and it looks the cutest. Yes, the mouse. Did you know that this harmless little thing was originally developed by the Royal Canadian Navy back in 1952 for locating targets? Exactly! And the first prototype developed by Douglas Engelbart came out in 1963. However, they became commercially popular only in 1984, quite contrary to the news by a few attention-seeking critics, who are anyways always out there. While its initial models would look like an alien gadget from faraway space, but they resulted in a huge leap in the navigational aspect, which they wouldn't deny, won't you? Since then, several versions of it has hit the market, including 3D mouse, but the function remains essentially the same, making your life much easier than you think it does. But while slow buffering can be soul-sucking, and you might be taking your frustrations out on your mouse, smashing it against the desk, launching at the wall, well, say what? The shrinks even have a name for it. The Mouse Rage Syndrome. Its earlier versions were named Turtles, but later the name Mouse took away the prize, and since then has perhaps rivaled the popularity of our dear old Mickey Mouse. Now can you imagine a world without it? Yes, maybe, with the touch screens and touch pads, but remember, these are just mere modifications of the mouse. However, the only thing that was supposed to be introduced by Douglas Engelbart as an option to the mouse was a navigation device fitted to your head. Ooh, that would have been some pain in the neck, ain't it? 